quite a lot of market stories uh, that we are, uh, we are getting, of course, uh, this morning. Uh, Codros Capital says it has caught its estimates uh, to Lafarge, Africa. Uh, of course, yesterday we talked about the industrial goods, if you remember. Uh, uh, Codros Capital sent this out, says they've revised their forecast for Lafarge uh, following this nine months 2017 results. The company uh, posted a loss in third quarter and also adjusting the target price for the stocks based on the right issue. Uh, what's the uh, forecast here? What's the cut here from uh, Codros Capital? We said they cut the profit forecast for Lafarge by 85% uh, for the 2017 full year and by 3% for the average uh, for the year between 2018 and 2019. This is uh, from one of the uh, uh, investment and securities trading firm on the market. But let's uh, go back to the Nigerian Stock Exchange where the uh, management of the Nigerian Shippers Council runs off the Thursdays uh, trading there at the Stock Exchange and to speak to transport infrastructure related to shipping. Here are some of the highlights. Uh, on behalf of Nigerian Shippers Council uh, to talk about certain uh, products that we have. Nigerian Shippers Council is an agency of the Federal Ministry of Transportation, uh, which has the statutory duty of being an economic regulator and therefore in charge of coordinating investments in the transportation sector. The reason why we're here is to seek or solicit for support of this very important institution on two products we have with the transport infrastructure, uh, the dry port. Uh, these dry ports are located inland and uh, they are ports of destination and ports of origin. They have the same ranking with the Apapa ports. The only thing you wouldn't see is water. But you can consign any import to those ports and uh, they have the, all the paraphernalia of uh, a port. We have the custom service there and all the agencies. And goods are examined at those inland ports. Um, this is to bring shipping to the doorsteps of the people. But even more importantly is uh, they are centers of diversification of our economy because we can use them as export centers. Uh, agricultural uh, process, food, and other areas where we have competitive advantage, they will be used for uh, exports. We have one already in operation in Kaduna. Uh, there is one which is going to start uh, constructing in Isia Longa, in Jos, which is almost 65% completed. We have one in Funtua, in Kano, Meduguri, and in Ivadan, Oyo State. Now, these are industrial hubs also. So they present uh, a veritable uh, vista for investments. And that's why we have come to uh, the Nigerian Stock Exchange to discuss and gain support so that we'll have at least uh, private uh, equity participation, you know, in this very important venture. Another one is the truck transit park. You will have noticed while you are driving how indiscriminate we park our, our trucks. We are degrading the environment. We are slowing delivery of cargo. So what Shippers Council is planning to do is through public-private partnership, take these trucks and other vehicles off the highway and uh, have them have a modern uh, transit uh, park. This park will have amenities like restaurants, uh, hotels, chain uh, restaurants, uh, amenities like uh, garages, uh, gas stations, and many other facilities which will make or will facilitate smooth delivery of cargo. It is also meant for you while you're traveling, you need, uh, you need to shorten your journey, you can go to these uh, facilities. They are going to be modern, they are going to be electronically driven. And we have carried out a study which shows uh, a lot of promise for this uh, infrastructure. For now, we are doing two with the private sector in Enugu and also in Kogi State. But there are a lot of them. And the most uh, important thing is they are also integrated or linked with other infra infrastructure like the seaports. So we are here to, as I said, solicit the cooperation you know, of this very important institution 
and we have got some pledges from the DG, and I'm sure from you that you will support us in this venture. I thank you very much.